Hello friends, in this part we have start teacher profile module, here we will discuss, how teacher can edit his or her details. In previous part, we have covered teacher login part, from that login page teacher can login into system, for manage his or profile, and manage attendance data. Here we have start teacher profile module, so we have go to profile.php field, here first we have write include statement with header.php, it will take all property of header page into this profile page. After this we have create some variable like, dollar teacher name, teacher address, teacher email id, teacher password, teacher grade id, teacher qualification, teacher date of join and teacher image variable with blank value. Same way for store validation error, here we have create variable like dollar error teacher name, error teacher address, error teacher email id, Error teacher grade ID, error teacher qualification, error teacher date of join and error teacher image variable with blank value. Now we have also create two variable like dollar error variable is equal to zero, and dollar success variable with blank value. Now we have moved to write HTML code. So here first we have create span variable and between it we have write echo statement with dollar success variable, it will display success message on web page. After this we have start make profile form, so here we have write form tag with method is equal to post, ID is equal to profile form and encryption type is equal to multi-part form data. Now we have defined form tag field, so here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to teacher name, under this we will load teacher name data. For display teacher name validation error, here we have write echo statement with dollar error teacher name variable, it will display teacher name validation error. After this, we have write text area field, with name, and ID is equal to teacher address, under this we will load teacher address details. After this, we have write text area field, with name, and ID is equal to teacher address, under this we will load teacher address details. Below this we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to teacher email ID, under this we will display teacher email ID details. For display teacher email ID validation error, here we have write echo statement with dollar error teacher email ID variable. Now we have write, input type is equal to password, with name, and ID is equal to teacher password, and here we have write placeholder attribute is equal to leave blank to not change it. In this field we will not fill password data, if teacher want to change password, then he can enter new password for change password. For display qualification details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to teacher qualification. For display qualification validation error, here we have write echo statement with dollar error teacher qualification variable, it will display validation error. After this for grade details, 
here we have write select tag with name and ID is equal to teacher grade ID. For fill grade list, here we have write echo statement, with load grade list function with dollar connect variable, it will list all grade. For display, grade ID validation error, here we have write echo statement with dollar error teacher grade ID variable, it will display validation error. Same way for date of join details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to teacher date of join, with read only attribute. For display date of join validation error, here we have write echo statement with dollar error teacher date of join variable. After this, we have write input type is equal to file, name and ID is equal to teacher image, from this tag, teacher can select profile image. For display image validation error, here we have create span tag with ID is equal to error teacher image, and under this we have write echo statement with dollar error teacher image variable. Now we have go to card footer class, and here we have create input type is equal to hidden, name and ID is equal to hidden teacher image. Below this we have create another hidden field, with input type is equal to hidden, name and ID is equal to teacher ID. Lastly, for submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and ID is equal to button action, and value is equal to save, by click on this button form data will be submitted. Now we want to fill this form with teacher data. So here we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from teacher table, where teacher ID is equal to dollar session teacher ID variable. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution. After this for execute query, here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query execution, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will return query execution data. Now here we have write, for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar with text box ID teacher name, with value method, and under this we have write echo statement with dollar row teacher name variable, it will fill teacher name text box. After this, we want to fill teacher address text area field, so here we have write dollar with text area field id teacher address dot value method, and under this we have write echo statement with dollar row teacher address variable. Same way for fill email address details, here we have write dollar with text box id teacher email id, with value method, and under this we have write echo statement with dollar row teacher email id variable.
Now we want to fill qualification details, so here we have write dollar with text box ID teacher qualification, with value method and under this we have echo statement with dollar row teacher qualification variable. Now we have write dollar with text box ID teacher grade ID, with value method and under this we have write echo statement with dollar row teacher grade ID variable, it will assign grad ID details to this field. After this, for fill date of join details, here we have write dollar with text box ID teacher date of join, with value method and under this we have write echo statement with dollar row teacher date of join variable. For display teacher image, here we have write dollar with span tag ID error teacher image, with HTML method, and under this we have write image tag with source ID equal to, admin folder slash teacher image slash dollar row teacher image variable, it will display teacher image. For store teacher image name in hidden field, here we have write dollar with ID is equal to hidden teacher image, with value method and under this we have write dollar row teacher image variable. Lastly, for store teacher ID details under hidden field, here we have write dollar with ID teacher ID, with value method and under this we have write echo statement with dollar row teacher ID variable. After this we want to activate date picker plugin on date of join text box, so here we have write dollar with text box ID teacher date of join with date picker method, it will initialize plugin on this text box, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here first we have login in attendance system by using teacher login form, so here in email field we have enter email and password details, and click on login button. After click on login button, here we can see profile link, so we have click on profile link, after click on profile link, on web page we can see profile page has been load on web page. Here we can see profile form with filled teacher details, this is the details of login teacher, now in next part we will discuss how to teacher can edit his or her details. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.